All right, well, let's get down to business here. Uh, I'm glad you took the time to come in and visit us here on the set. Uh, but before we get started, why don't you give us a quick synopsis on what's happening with you and Kalo Entertainment? Okay, definitely. Well, I signed with Kalo Entertainment recently, actually not too long ago, and and since that, I've just I've been so blessed. You know, before that and and after, um, I shot my first video in okay. LA. Okay. Yep. That, that we're showing today. Yes. Okay. Satisfied is my single, which I wrote while I was in Atlanta recording for some time, and I've been I've been performing so much, and and you know just just learning as an artist and and meeting new people and. Living my dream. Okay. Well, of course, we, we can't go with because since you're from Cleveland, a lot of people probably recognize you out there in TV land. Probably remember you from a, a couple of years back. Uh, you were in a couple of singing groups here. You started off yes. as a singing group. Yes, well, I did. Uh, what was the name of the groups that you were in before? Um, the first group I created was called First Choice, and it was a gospel singing mm -hmm. group. Um, you remember. Uh, I was like 12, yep. 13 years mm -hmm. old. and We actually had a CD that was in... Uh, Rainbow, yeah, and in stores and stuff, and we had like an album release party. It was so it was fun, and then the second one was called Chosen Fate, right? With two other two other ladies, and it was an R and B group. All was in uh, high school together, right? Yeah. Okay. Um, and you know, but my passion is singing. Now let's talk about uh, 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 Kalo. A lot of people wonder what that stands for. You want to tell us a little <laughs> about what Kalo Entertainment Kalo, is? No, um, Kalo stands for Kenny Lofton. Uh, Kenny Lofton is a major league baseball player, and mm -hmm. I actually met him with through my manager PJ. We went to his house for uh, the NFL game. He was having like a big party for Super right. Bowl, and I ended up singing for him. And he fell in love with my voice. He said I reminded him of Mariah Carey. Yeah, and which is such a compliment. Yes, it is. And um, he he became interested in me and and saw my performance and. You know my professionalism, and he wanted to to work with me, so we joined the team. And the rest is history, as they say. <laughs> now, now uh, we were talking off the set before you got on. You've been fortunate to meet quite a few entertainers since you've been doing this. You mentioned yeah. some guys. I know they got hot records out there. <laughs> uh, just tell some of the people, because one thing about uh, this transition that you made, one of the things about Cleveland is we have a hard time really uh, getting out with a lot of artists here if they don't get the opportunities yeah. inside the city mm -hmm. to uh, mingle with some of the stars out there, actually record with them, do the yeah. music here, so we don't have so many celebrities here in the city. But being that you got a chance to do that, tell us some of the people that you got a chance to work with and personally get to meet that you know in this business now. Okay, um, actually, the uh, the new boys, you know, you're a jerk, I know. Yeah, you know. yeah. <laughs> Um, well, actually, I met them while I was in Detroit, and they weren't really, like, all the way out there yet, you know. They they blew up so fast. Yeah. It's crazy, but um, we actually, we all became real cool, you know, because I'm new, they're new. We were like, hey, let's just hang. What would be some of the things that you would tell some of the young people to do to make it in this business? Um, definitely persistence. Uh, whenever I get emails asking me this, I always, that's the first thing that I say because if you're not persistent and you give up, that's one of the major reasons that a lot of people don't succeed in, in whatever it is they want to do, you know what mm -hmm. I mean? And as well as, I would say prayer and practice always makes perfect, you know. I, I definitely get up at 5 o'clock in the morning mm -hmm. every day mm -hmm. and rehearse, wow. you know. So it's kind of like an obsession, but then... You know, have have fun too, but you know, live your live out your dream. And we want to give a shout out to your label, Kalo Entertainment, and yes. of course PJ. PJ, Harvey Mason mm -hmm. Jr., especially PJ. That's my best friend. PJ you known know, her for a long time. Yes. Good lady <laughs> and a, a very hard worker at what she do. So I know you're gonna be in the right hands thank to you. keep your career going. We we want to get to this video, so we want to thank you for coming on the set. But we want you to drop the video, and if there's anything you gotta say before we get out, it's time to get it in. But you gotta take us into your music video. And then, ladies and gentlemen, now it's the Britney Elise Show. Okay, it's the Britney Elise Show. What's going on, Steve Time? <laughs> right now you're gonna watch my video, Satisfied, right here on the Honey Train. Keep it locked. <laughs>
with you Your secret safe with me, tell me what you do I know you don't lie, because every time I look into your eyes, they tell me it's the truth Chills down my spine, forever by his side Where's where I'll stay, because I'm satisfied The way you love me, close my mind, I'm hypnotized, holding on 